Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our online live stream class, although you might be watching the replay. Um, today we are going to be making this gorgeous set. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's uh, the Peony Garden Suite is what it's from and they just everything in it is just absolutely awesome. But I'm going to show you how to make these 3D flowers and um, how to make the easel twist cards. So we're going to do a little twisting and shouting today. <laughs> And now while you're jumping on board, I got a couple of things for you today. Um, and one is Prize Patrol. So always when I'm live, I always have um, something fun for you guys. And today it's a hostess set and they're kind of hard to get. And this one's a really pretty one. It's called Touched My Heart. And all you need to do is drop a comment here on the video. Whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, it doesn't matter. I'm live on both. I will um, call all of the the um, comments from both and if you even if you're watching the replay you don't even have to be watching live even if you're watching the replay and if you share this um, video onto a social media such as Facebook or Pinterest um, and type the word shared into the original video so I know you shared it I will automatically enter you a second time now here's the really exciting thing that's happening did you guys see this this morning just just uh, hot off the presses, the Easter Bunny's coming. I'm so excited about this. So I'll be doing an Easter egg hunt um, and it's going to begin on March 23rd. So that a little heads up on this and I'm gonna be hiding eggs around um, my social media. So for a week and all you need to do is go and collect all the colors. And at the end, you could win a $100 gift certificate from me or a $50 gift certificate from me or a $25 gift certificate, anything you want in there. So it's awesome prizes. It's going to be super fun. And I even have a, a map, an egg hunt map for you to make it easy for you to find them. And you can download those at stampwithtammy.com. I have a link here in the video's description above Facebook, below YouTube. <laughs> and that will bring you to the resource page. And there you're going to find the free PDF of what we're working on today. And I also have a link there to the egg hunt. Super excited about that. So here's the free PDF. Um, and it does have measurements and it does have a little template on there I put because um, it, it's really easy to make, but it does help to see a visual. I know we were talking about this yesterday, my uh, surprise live yesterday, um, that the visual, <laughs> we're visual visual people, right? And so it definitely helps to be able to to see the, uh, see the things, it, you know, pictures of them. So here's the card. I know I gave you guys a little sneak peek yesterday. This is an easel twist card super pretty right and then it fits right inside a standard size envelope uh, th these are our medium envelopes here I even decorated it to match and this is a mini pizza box here so we sell these mini pizza boxes in my online store you can put cookies and treats I was gonna put a cookie in there but I was afraid I'd eat it before because <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet <laughs> and I'm getting a little hungry so super super fun super easy I'm again I'm using the um, the peony garden suite here for these um, these products. So the Peony Garden Suite is in the main annual catalog from Stampin' Up. It's absolutely beautiful, and the colors the colors here are just I love it. So these are a couple of other ideas um, from the suite, and these are the products that come in the suite. So I'll show you a couple of them as we get going and as we get working with it. But they're just awesome. All right, I'm going to start with the card. So I th I think maybe we'll start with the card fold first and then work into, um, I'll show you how to make the 3D flower on here. Super, again, all super easy. And all of these supplies are all available in my online store at stampwithtammy.com. But if you need something that you see here, I have made it super easy for you. All you need to do is click on the link in the video's description. And if you're on YouTube, they're all listed right there. Like you can click right from YouTube and, and boom, it's so easy. <laughs> I try to make it easy for you. So I am going to take my paper trimmer here and I do have these measurements on that um, PDF that's on my blog. So um, so you don't need, to, what I'm saying here is you don't need to be writing and screenshotting. I, I, I try, again, try to make it easy for you, you guys can download that and uh, write any notes that you need. So I'm using gray granite for our card base and I've cut it down to eight and a half by four and a quarter and then I'm gonna score it and I'm, I'm using my, my paper trimmer but you could use your Simply Scored tool if you wanted to. I'm gonna score that right in half and that's four and a quarter. And then the trick to the, the fold, <laughs> you're gonna die when you see how easy this is, 
is um, you want to score on the diagonal. So line up the fold line right here. If you're using the score tool, you know, line it up on the scoring, um, the score, little scoring groove there. Um, about the trimmer, I'm going to uh, do the top of the um, top of the card base to the corner, the bottom corner of the card base to get our diagonal. And so the the lighter blade here is the scoring blade. The darker one cuts on the on the paper trimmer. So when we do that. So we've got closed, open, closed, open. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. All right, so let's let's do some decorating now. I'm, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm, I'm totally not done. Okay, so next up I have some designer series paper. Let me show you this paper. It's so, it's so stunningly pretty. It's one of those papers that I've been dying to play with. And there's so many, so many different pretty things to play with in the catalog. It's hard to know where to start sometimes, right? So this is the, uh, it's called Peony, Peony Garden Designer Series Paper. It's double-sided. I love the marble, right? It makes nice backdrops too. Nice backgrounds, backdrops, and photographing. And they're, they're pretty. And it's, the thing is, I, I've swapped up maybe what I'm going to use here for the patterns. Maybe, maybe not on some of them, but just because they're all really pretty and you kind of want to use them all, right? So these are, these are what comes in the collection, the designer paper that comes in the collection. So I took this piece and I've got the measurements for it um, on that PDF, but it's not a square. It's a hair off from a square, like it is, I want to say an eighth of an inch off from, or a quarter of an inch off from a square. And so, yeah, like a quarter of an inch. And so make sure that you've got it the same way as your card opening. That's the only really big tip is that if you have it going the wrong way, it, will, it won't fit when you cut it. Okay, so as long as you have it lined up right, so then we want to score it from here, this corner to this corner. It really wasn't up that, it's, it's, I mean, it's super easy, right? And you think, duh, but <laughs> trust me, when I was making mine, I totally, I totally did it the wrong way. And I was like, oh, because I wasn't thinking that it wasn't a, a total square. It was a little bit off of a square. And so I just cut that on the diagonal. And so that's going to give us our two front pieces. And then, um... I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and put those on. We'll go ahead and do that assembly. Let's make, let's make sure I did it right there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take some seal adhesive to do some attaching. Oh, thanks you guys. I'm so glad you like the card. I did have a little inspiration from Pinterest. Don't we all? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach these two, and this is gonna fold here, and there, there's gonna be just a tiny little um, frame border reveal of the, the gray granite underneath. So just line that up there. And I feel like, if you feel like it's a little bit too tight, you could trim a little bit off. I feel like maybe this one might be a little bit too tight on there because you're not going to see. Let's see if I can get it to go right up against that edge so that we get a little border there. Oh, the suspense. Oh, I got it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we've got our front done. Now for the inside, um, we need to do a little stopper, and of course you want to put a greeting in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do some stamping. I used uh, Shimmer White today. I like Shimmer White. I don't know if you can see it so good on the on the video, but on the it's got a nice little shimmer to it. It adds a little pizzazz without really having to do any work. And going to use uh, Itty Bitty Greetings for our words on this one. And basic gray ink. Itty Bitty Greetings is just, um, it's a word set. 
And so if you're at a loss <laughs> and you're not sure what to write, there is a little bit of something, a little bit of everything in this set. I, I feel like there are certain sets that are staples and definitely a good word set that has every occasion in it, like this one, is a staple. So it's you can, you know, they're little too, so they make nice sentiments and they fit in good spaces. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp, and I use the words love and thanks to a dear friend. So we're going to make this a thank you card today. But the other beautiful thing about that is that you could change it to any other greeting. First of all, that wasn't centered, so I'm going to restamp it. Second of all, I want to tell you how I got this label, right? I'm just stamping on here. I'm not even telling you where it came from. That's not very nice of me. <laughs> all right, so the the I cut this um, from the uh, Tasteful Label die set. I'm going to get some nice, and I, I, I use that for both of the projects today. I, I cut the other one out of here, and this one was from this this die right here. So quick and easy, makes nice labels on there. And then we'll go ahead and do our inside. Uh, I stamped a couple of flowers, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not entirely sure where I put those flowers. Do I still have them? Because we might stamp something different now. Oh, yes, here we go. I was like, phew, glad I got them here. That would be awkward. Just grab a block. Well, it just occurred to me that I had a sneak peek to show you guys for that's coming up next week, and now I'm not exactly sure where I put it. Okay, so again, it's not exactly a square. It's off by like a quarter of an inch, so just make sure that you're you're facing it the right direction that you want it to go. And I'm going to just stamp in petal pink so they're light, so you have room to write over it if you wanted to. You didn't have to if you didn't want to. And then we can go ahead and assemble the inside. We'll go ahead and put the whole inside of the card together, and then we'll come back and do the we'll do the, the 3D flower after. So. For these two pieces, the, the uh, shimmer white piece, that's the base, and then I've got a petal pink frame to go around it, they are going to go together and then on the card with some seal adhesive, so they'll be flat. I didn't want it too, too bulky on the inside, if you want to shut it, but it does need a little bit of um, pop on the inside, and I'll show you that in a second. We'll use our label for that. Sorry, my heat just kicked on. If you can hear that in the background, <laughs> I apologize. Okay, so now, okay, we need to put in our, our stopper. So our words are actually gonna do double duty. They're our words and they're our stopper. So I'm gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And so I kind of want to line it up where, let's see, right about there maybe, where we want it to stop. Sorry, I didn't press down and it popped right back up again. All right. Boom. Okay, this time we'll press down. So that's going to hold it. So when it's, it's open, it stands up. It's got that nice fold to it. Closed. It still, it still folds pretty flat. So... That is our easel twist fun fold for the day. And now we are going to start building our flower. Now I'm going to talk about the dies that go with this prize peony stamp set that, that we're using. So the peony stamp set matches beautiful dies. And the dies you'll see here, these down at the bottom are pretty obvious, right? I mean, they cut out the they match the stamp set, they cut out the flowers that are in the stamp set or the leaves. These up top though, they're a little special. So we've got a scallop edge border. We'll use that on a different product. But now I'm gonna show you about those guys up top. And for that, I have a visual. Channeling my inner Linda Cullen. Bracha visual. <laughs> so I cut out the dies. These four pieces are builder pieces. So they build the peony. Am I saying that right? Is it peony? peony? Peony. Peony? I always want to call it a peony. I don't know why. I just, I, it's, st it's stuck and that's what, probably what I'm going to call it for the rest of the day. <laughs> so these are the four pieces that go together. They line right up 
but the bottom edge on each one and I'll, 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 I'll visual that. And then we've got our uh, leaves. We've got three um, leaves that have outer edgings here that layer on top of them to give you a two-tone leaf. And then we've got our, our stamen that goes in the center. So I have, through the magic of video, already done some of these ahead of time. So I cut the flower for the, for the card, I cut the flower out of the um, shimmer white cardstock. And for the box, I cut it out of um, the petal pink. So you guys can tell me which one you like better, whether you like the white or whether you like the petal pink better. So I've cut the, um, these are the three builder pieces. These are the three leaves. I, um, I'm, before I go ahead and assemble it, there's three more pieces and that's the uh, overlays for the leaves that I want to cut. And I did those slightly, um, a little special. They're a little special. I'll show you what I did there. I took some adhesive sheet. I don't know if you guys work with these, but anytime you're working with really um, thin, intricate dyes and things like that, um, I, I always recommend using these over, you know, uh, uh, the fine tip glue pen is fine if you like that too, but uh, it, over the seal or trying to use a mini glue dot on some of these are just so fine. And this, uh, these overlays are, um, they were qualified for what I call very fine, very fine. So I'm just going to put a little bit of scrap. This is pear pizzazz that I'm using here. Okay, so I'm not the only one that says peony. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Barb says she's heard it said it's just heard it done either way. All right, so half of my half of my um, green here is a sticker, and half of it's just regular cardstock. I'm going to cut off the regular cardstock so I don't accidentally put my dye over that. Cause I want to make what I'm cutting out right now a sticker. So, custom stickers. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring in the Big Shot die cut machine. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. This is no longer the Big Shot. It is the uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine from Stampin' Up. This is actually our new machine. Yeah, sometimes old habits die hard, right? Sometimes. So we're going to use the thin, thin um, overlays for the leaves here. You can put all three on at once. Oops. And then you can knock all three off at once. It's all good. So once those are cut out, now they're now they're stickers. So we can um, peel that right out, pop them right out of the dies, and they'll already just peel the adhesive off the back, and they're good to go. So we don't have to do any extra sticking, which I find very handy in this particular case. All right, take, our, take your pick tool and pop those out. Now, before we assemble, I want to add a little special something, something and make them really, really like they're already 3D. So they're already like, wow, but I'm really going to make these pop. And I'm going to do that by doing a little bit of sponging. I'm going to actually use sponge daubers for this. So let's go ahead and do the leaves first. So these were cut out of um, soft sea foam, and then I'll use the soft sea foam ink to sponge um, around the edges. 
I'm going to use a sponge dauber. You can also use um, Stampin' Sponges works there too. But this just gives it a little bit of pop. And then when we put that overlay on top of it, it's really going to, really going to be cool. All right, Maria, she's a fan of the, the sticky back. Something we're going to bring in, and these are pear pizzazz that I cut the the overlays on, so they're going to be um, a little bit darker, a little bit different shade. So peel off that backing, let it stick to everything that you you <laughs> come in contact with for the rest of the day, kind of like the dimensional backings, and then they just stick right on. And the beautiful part about that is that that's it. That's all you got to do. It really makes life so much easier. Oh, the suspense, it's killing me. Come on, there we go. All right, so we've got our, our leaves all assembled, ready to rock and roll. Now it's time for our flower, but see how cool they look? A little bit of sponging, a little too tone there. I mean, they're just wows. So next we're gonna bring in the flower builder pieces. And I've, I've, I've seen two different ways of um, sponging these because I'm going to sponge them as well to give them a little bit of pop. You can either go along the bottom or the top edge. I, I went along the top edge with mine, but I, I've seen them go along the bottom edge too, and that looks really awesome. So either way, this either way looks really good. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do this, and then I'm going to loosen up the fiber. So it doesn't matter which one you do first here. Just going to take a little petal pink and a sponge dauber and just add a little color there. I'm going along the seam that we're going to, to build on and then adding some to the top. If, if you, you're doing the, you know, doing the method that you're coloring the top of it, um, you're not going to see this, this bottom part. So you don't need to go all the way down to the bottom. Now let's add a little more there. Okay. So the next step before we go to assemble that I think, um, I think looks is, is key for, for um, when you put it together, but you don't have to do this step. Um, and that is loosening up the fibers of the flower because I want it to, to really look 3D and I want it to kind of pop. And so I'm going to roll um, these top pieces. And in, in order to make that happen easily, loosening up those fibers with the um, with the bone folder is the best, I think the best way to do it. Just be careful. <laughs> okay, so like this one, you've got your, your cut up there. Just be careful when you're loosening up fibers that you don't actually tear it. You don't wanna do that. We're ready. So I'm just going to use uh, some seal adhesive to assemble. And I think it's probably easiest to start with the smallest piece and then work our way to the larger piece. And I'm just going to move over to my silicone mat now. Okay. 
what's the best way to mail it so it doesn't get crushed a bubble a bubble envelope if you were putting it in the mail and it wasn't in a package or you know in another enclosed thing I would do a bubble um, envelope okay so this one okay. Let me make sure I got the right order here So it's going to slide inside and I'm looking at the back right now and these two are going to line up. So it's going to look like this. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and place that inside this one. Kind of reminds me of those little Russian dolls, you know, <laughs> one that comes out of the other, it comes out of the other. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to flip it back so we can put a little bit of adhesive on there. And just line up those bottom edges. They're not perfectly lined up, but so the little ones don't stick out. And then that goes inside there. And again, a little bit of adhesive on that. So you can see how the oh, there's a little bit of glare there. You can see how the um, the sponging really really makes a difference. And then you can take your bone folder or a fingernail and kind of roll it once it's all assembled. Roll the pieces a little bit so that they it's almost easier to use your fingernail. I think I'm going to do that in some of these pieces in the front here. I didn't put adhesive over all of them for this very reason because I knew I wanted to come back and roll back some of these pieces to make them really breedy, make them really pop. And this is where if you loosen the fibers early on, this is the, this is where it's, it matters. All right. So we have our, uh, peony here. I'm just going to see if I can, um, Let's see if I can turn the brightness down a hair there so you can see it a little bit there. I think you can see it a little better. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare on there. At least on my side, there was a little bit of a glare. Okay, so now we're ready to put it on our flower. And I'm going to use something really cool for that as well. So I'm going to um, use these Forever Gold, um, their laser cut specialty paper which they are fantastic sheets. If you have not seen these, they are pretty stinking awesome. They're in the Forever Greenery um, collection suite, but I mean, they're, they're available individually. So let me just back out a little bit more here so you can see them. So this is, I mean, I mean, they come with several sheets of each in the pack. You've got um, backgrounds that you can do here, but then you've got a whole sheet of labels that you can do. And they're so easy to, to put together and make awesomeness out of. So for that, oops, somewhere I'm going to find my pieces that I had around here or not. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we're going to pop a new one out. I'm going to use the circle. And we're going to stick our flower right on top. I want to put these guys, I'm going to stick them underneath the flower and you can use glue dots or, or seal adhesive for that part so that they stick. But the reason why I'm sticking them under the flower is so that I can control where they are rather than sticking them to the, the gold foil sheet, uh, gold foil label. So we've got those, and then I'm going to put it on here with some Stampin' Dimensionals.
So you can see how beautiful it looks with that right on the background. And it's, I mean, it's so easy, right? And then I, I cut the stamen um, out of daffodil cardstock. And so that I'm going to put in with uh, glue dots. And that's going to kind of go right. Uh, let's see, let's put it in here. All right, so from here, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this, but I'm only going to be putting um, them on the half that's going to be on this side. Because if you attach it to the whole thing, <laughs> trust me, it doesn't end well. <laughs> You're not able to actually open it. Okay, so line it up first before you, before you do this part. And then I'm going to flip it this way so only on this half right here. One more, why not? One more for good luck. Just make sure they're all on this half. So when you turn it over, if I did that right, if I lined it up right, it's only stuck on that panel. Yay! <laughs> there it is. See, they're only stuck on that panel because you need it to be able to fold up when you when you close it. And there we have our easel fold. So closed, open, closed open. And one more touch that I, I liked. There's, I like the paper and I like playing with it. Let's go ahead and make a matching envelope with the same, um, the same designer paper here. So two and a half inch strip. This is a great use of your, uh, scraps. Um, I don't even know what the width is here. I'm probably going to need to cut it down. Let me see if I can find on the ruler here. Uh, I have this one, six inches. You probably want it uh, roughly six inches or more. And so easy, super easy here. Um, open up your envelope. These are medium envelopes. Just put the adhesive on the flap. I know when I did a poll, what are you guys, <laughs> what are you guys most frustrated with? Everybody said, what do I do with all those scraps? <laughs> well, here's one thing that you can do with all those scraps. And that is decorate your envelopes. Okay, so we went ahead and attached that. And then take your paper snips and just trim it. It's that easy. But then when you're done, you've got this beautiful envelope and it matches your card and this project is gonna fit inside a regular medium sized envelope. But um, as we mentioned, if you are mailing this alone in the mail without a package or um, anything else, I probably would do it in a bubble wrap. Unless you left it flat, unless you left it flat in that case you'd probably be fine. So then you're gonna slide that inside your thing. And you're gonna shut it and it's gonna match and everything is awesome in the universe. Okay, so next up, we got a beautiful box. Now that you've seen how easy this is to do, right? So <laughs> this is just, uh, I used the uh, pizza box from Stampin' Up, the mini pizza boxes and to you really quickly so they come in a pack they're food safe you've got you know your, your little glossy on the inside you can put your cookies in there your treats or whatever you so desire um on the free pdf that i have on the resource page if you click on the link here you've got the resource page and i have a free pdf for you i say that you need a full sheet of um designer series paper you do not you only need a half so, and not 12 by 12, you just 6 by 12 is a good, a good size to, to do this with. So I apologize for that. I'm sure you'll figure it out as soon as you, you, you lay your box on it. But just in case, just an FYI, I did have the wrong measurement there. Okay, so we're going to lay our box down. We're going to decide what side we want up. Do we want, it doesn't matter, but I think I'm going to go pink side up today. What do you think? Nah, maybe gray. Maybe gray will look better. That doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to just line this up. 
with our designer paper, take a pen. You're going to go around and you're going to trace. You don't need the circle in the middle, but one thing that you do need, you just, you're going to go around and trace the whole thing. Oops, sorry. We'll just pretend I traced the whole thing here. One thing that's very important are these two little slits. So go ahead and pop them and then take your pen and go in there and make sure that the, um, there's four of them, make sure that you have them marked. You're going to need those cut. And th then you're going to take your paper snips and you're going to cut that out. And through the magic of video, ta -da! <laughs> it is all, all done. So, um, the one thing I did leave here that I wanted to show you how I did is how I cut out, uh, open these slits. These, you just need to slip. So just take that paper trimmer and line them up on the, on the guide here. Again, uh, dark blade cuts, light blade score. So we want the darker blade. We're going to lift it. So don't drag it across or it'll cut the whole top off. We don't want that. So lift it until it reaches where the slit is and then just use it on the slit and then lift and move over and just use it on the slit. So now we've got our slits there. We're, we'll need them. You don't need to cut anything else out. I found that that works just fine. Just cutting that out as is. So now we are going to attach... Oh, I feel so bad putting this <laughs> beautiful designer series paper down. It's all so pretty, right? So your favorite adhesive, whatever you like here. I am using uh, seal adhesive. If you are friends with the liquid glue, you could use liquid glue on here. I don't think you need to use um, the heavy duty stuff for this. I think it's going to be just fine. I've never had a problem. The one thing you do want to make sure you do really well is get the edges. I'm not sure those edges are good so that they'll they'll um, they won't pop up on you. And that is one time when this silicon mat well actually <laughs> that's one of the many times when the silicon mat comes in handy you can go right off the edge there and it doesn't stick okay oh i think you're right pat it matches my sweater i did not plan that ahead of time actually <laughs> Oops. all right i want the i want this and i suppose you could go either way with this but i want the glossy side on the inside so I'm just going to line this up on the on the flat white side all right and then just take your bone folder and reinforce those score lines all right super easy nothing nothing no degree in anything needed to create these beautiful boxes, fully covered, and they look like you bought it. We always like that, right? When someone thinks we bought something and we made it. <laughs> That's like the ultimate. The ultimate compliment, I think. Okay, so there is a little tabby right here. I, I, I left that. I didn't cut that out, but you can if you want to. Okay, so for assembly, again... Super easy and no adhesive is needed for this. Just fold up these two or four tabs here. Fold up the two sides, four tabs. And then this front just folds over those tabs. And that's why it was important to cut those slits so that the tabs there can go into the slits. And that's what keeps it uh, closed so you don't need adhesive. Boom. Done. Done. Fully covered mini pizza box. Minutes, right? And it looks awesome. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we can't just leave a naked box, right? Okay, so let's stamp our words. Again, I use the tasteful label dies here for um, for both of the, the projects to, to cut the tags out. And I do have all of that information on the free PDF that is located on this um projects resource page and it's linked in the video's description and somewhere around here oh there it is somewhere on this table I have the word hey there 
And I'm going to use that with basic gray. I'm sorry. I think it says, Hey friend. Hey, Hey friend. There you go. And then we're going to, uh, cut out our flower pieces just like we did in the original. And if you're popping in late, um, I'm, you might want to pop after this video, you might want to pop back to the beginning. I'll show this to you really quick, but I kind of messed it up a little bit. So up top here, we have, they're not lined up as awesomely here. Up top here, we have the builder pieces. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. The builder pieces, a scallop, and then these cut out from the prized peony stamp set, the bottom ones, cut out the actual stamps. And so what I'm doing now, I've already done our leaves. I've already put them together, but you can go back and watch the first project to see how I did that if you um, if you were unsure. Then we've got um, the four pieces of the peony that we are now going to work with. So uh, again, I'm going to do some sponging. I'm going to sponge the same way because I like it. Okay, the slits go on the top. These uh, scalloped bottoms are all going to line up on the bottom. I'm going to use that petal pink or blushing bride. I guess I brought blush, blushing bride. If I said petal pink, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I had that right or not. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same here. I like that look. And. I'm probably going to move over to my scrap paper just because the silicone mat's great with adhesive, but when you get ink on it, then the ink gets all over your, it stays on there. Unlike the adhesive that just kind of goes away. Okay. So. Like everything, when you sponge the edges, it gives it a little bit of pop, a little bit of pow. Don't forget when you're over there on the uh, resource page to click over to uh, my Easter egg hunt. Download your map. It's going to start on the 23rd. I'm so excited. I'm hiding eggs. The Easter Bunny's coming for you. Free stamps. Oh, it's just a little bit of fun, right? Got to have some fun. So that's, I think, I think I'm good with the sponging there. You can you can sponge to your heart's delight. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some assembly. So now we're gonna move back to that silicone mat. Again, um, I found it easiest to work from the inside out. So um, I'm gonna take the smallest little piece here. Actually, you know what? I want these to puff too, so we're gonna we're gonna loosen up the fibers here on this too. Yep, it's a stampin Easter egg hunt. You gotta find the colors of the Easter eggs. They're gonna be hidden all over the internet. <laughs> but but the map will tell you where to go, so you don't don't worry. It's super fun, super easy. But you're gonna have to find the colors each day. So fun. I figured we can't have real Easter egg hunts this year, right? So we can have a cyber one. Okay, so I'm just loosening up the, the fibers on these a little bit. If, if you're if you're tuning in late in and miss the first card, um, I'm just doing this so that I can kind of manipulate the flower a little bit when I've put it together so I can kind of bend it. If you loosen up the fibers, it just makes it easier to do that. So I'm going to start with our two smallest pieces. And let's see, I'm sorry. So these edges, see these edges right here, they're all going to line up on the, when you, when you start stacking them together. So these are the builder pieces. So I'll go ahead and put that on the inside. Do I have that upside down? I feel like I have that one upside down. Did I put that one upside down on the last card? I think I did. You know what's funny? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I put that upside down on the last card and it still looked awesome. <laughs> So there, that goes to show you that it still looks great, even when you mess up. You can this this flower is that easy, and it still looks good. So let's loosen that one up a little bit. Okay. Let's try that one again. I'm gonna slide that in this way. 
we'll do it the correct way this time. So the smallest one inside the next layer there, kind of like your little Russian dolls. You're going to one inside the other inside the other. And then a little bit of adhesive there, just on the bottom to keep it together. Oops, it's kind of sliding in a little bit. Okay, and we'll slide that into the next one. That's right, Tina. Easter egg hunt. Hop on over. Stampwithtammy.com. It's a stampin' up Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Hop on over there. I got all the details. And you're going to want to download your, your, your egg hunt map. I don't want to miss out on it. It's going to be super fun. Okay, so this one's going to go. So we went, you know, smallest to largest here. adhesive on that but not all the way to the top so that we can uh, bend the flower a little bit manipulate it a little bit okay so now we've got our flower together okay this looks so much different <laughs> actually it doesn't look that much different than the one I, I did the wrong way I'm gonna fold some of these back and then some of these right here we'll we'll kind of I'm just gonna use my fingernail to do it to bend them forward but like I said, because we've loosened up the fibers, it makes it easier to do that. If you haven't, then it kind of crinkles up a little bit. Okay, that's, oh, that's way better. Okay. All right, what do you think? Love it, love it. All right, so next we'll take um, that stamen I cut out of Daffodil Delight, and we're going to attach that with a glue dot. Right in the center. And then I uh, I pre-did these. So if you are tuning in late, if you, um, after this, if you go back and watch project number one, I'll, sh I'll show you in project number one how to, how to do these. I think you can, I think they're pretty easy. <laughs> it's all pretty easy. So then I'm just going to take some seal adhesive and attach them. Again, for the same reason, I, I, I'm attaching them to the flower first because I want to have full control over where they are on the flower. There we go. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I'll go ahead and um, attach this to while we're here. Let's see. I'm gonna put that, you know what? I think I'm going to move this flower or this leaf over to the other side so that I have a little space here for the, the tag, the label. And the beautiful thing about that itty bitty greetings is, you know, you can change this greeting to anything. You could make it happy Easter. You could make it happy Mother's Day. So you could totally change this up, right? They have Easter in there. Yep, there's Easter blessings, and there is, I mean, there's, there's Christmas, there's Hanukkah in here, there is, we do have Mother's Day, yep, Happy Mother's Day, there's World's Best Father, Trick or Treat, so pretty much, I mean, they've got everything covered in that itty bitty greeting set. Back to that Forever Greenery um, laser paper, so I'm going to take this label from that too, um, I'll bring that back out really quickly, because it's super cool, and I know some of you tuned in late, so if you, if you missed the beginning, this is the laser cut paper, and um, so I just took the labels right out of there, and they're already, they've already got the foliage, the gold foil foliage, there's some cool other pieces here that we can use on another project, and so I'm going to attach the flower to that with some Stampin' Dimensionals, but then I'm also going to attach this to the box with Stampin' Dimensionals, so we'll go ahead and... ahead and uh, do that all at once.
So um, I thought I was going to give you a sneak peek here um, of what's coming, a tutorial that I'm doing next week on the blog that matches the set. And for some reason, I cannot find it. I must have left it upstairs before I came. What a dope. So um, on that note, if I can't find it before the end of the video, you're going to need to pop on over to uh, stampwithtammy.com, click on the resource page, and I do have a link there. Uh, not a, it's not a link yet because it's not it's not done yet it's not up yet but it's a, a photo of what it is and it's beautiful uh, e everything with this suite is beautiful so go ahead and attach our label here from the um, the f the forever foliage uh, laser cut sheets and then we'll go ahead and put our flower right over that and then the only other piece and I want to put these on the card too uh, that I that I haven't done yet is bling we need our bling bling right. And so uh, we have gilded gems here that I'm going to use for that and finish that off. So for the box, eh, let's see, I'm trying to decide if I want large or small, but why not? I'll go with large. So put a couple right down at the bottom. I think my original I used the top, but that's okay. And on this one, maybe some smaller ones there. That's not, I think I'm going to put them on top here. Not much space. Sorry if I'm working off camera there, my bad. Here we go. Line that up. And that's done. And everybody is complete. So we've got our we've got our gift box and then we've got our uh, We've got our easel fold card. I hope you have enjoyed that. All right, so give me one second. Let me see if I can find, <laughs> let me see if I can find the other tutorial, card tutorial I was gonna share with you guys. I got it, woohoo, yay! It's worth the wait, trust me on this one. Totally worth the wait. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Ah, this one's a slimline card and it's using the uh, the peony and the stamp set. So instead of the builders, it's going to use the regular dies. They cut out the stamps, and it is just awesome. Awesome. I had a lot of fun with the, the slope. Sorry, I put it together so I could uh, phot photograph it. But, uh, yeah, a lot of fun with that using the same um, background paper. So stay tuned. That will actually be on my blog. It, it'll be um, a, a card tutorial on my blog. So you'll be looking for that one. Ah. <sighs> It'll be either Monday or Tuesday. You, you can find that one on my blog. So I hope you love it. And don't forget, there is a free PDF on uh, my blog with all of the measurements here and, and a little template to help you out uh, when you're creating the easel fold card. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. You can click on the link in this resource or you can click on stampwithtammy.com videos. And the Easter egg hunt. <laughs> don't forget to download your map while you're over there it's a stampin up easter egg hunt and it's going to be so much fun and i'm giving away free gift certificates uh so you're definitely to my stampin up store you're definitely going to want to play it's going to be it's going to be a blast all right well thanks for joining me i hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and uh i will be back here next week with some more stamping fun thanks guys <laughs>